it doesn't really matter what you do, but just by squashing the paper, it actually kind of um, makes it a bit faded and a bit lighter. And then you're able to then go back over top and draw into it, okay? So now I want you to sort of use one of the corners and just do like a line like that, sort of with the same color back into it. Um, then I want you to just start to fill in the bottom underneath that line, so that, that kind of lower area. Like that. And what you'll notice is that the pasta will, will be wearing away fairly quickly. You'll get a kind of big rounded, you know, corner like that. But you've still got some nice sharp corners in here which you can use for the for the detail stuff, all right? Now still using your fingers, smudge that around a bit more. And what you'll notice probably, if, if it's like mine, you'll end up with these sort of bits of dust along here. So there's a couple of things you can do. One thing is to go like this and just, just tap your paper to get it off. Or you can blow it blow it off, all right? Um, you can't really wipe it off, because if you wipe it off, it's gonna smudge it into the drawing. Does that make sense? So you, it's gonna get a bit messy, just just go with the mess, all right? Just, just kind of own it. Um, um, just grab, grab a bit of um, white, if you've got a white um, chalk, and just notice how you can actually draw back into these shapes like here with the white. So the white is quite a quite powerful. You can build it up um, on top of that. All right. Um, cool. But once you've got like a solid thing, so let's let's go to our next color. Let's go to the green. And this time, or your second color, this time I want you to f like color in a square, just really solid. Like that. So what's, what you've kind of got here is a really solid um, surface and you can draw over the top, especially with a darker color. So you can try that out if you want, but it won't really accept kind of more, more layers in there. That blue will just sit on top of that, that layer. So it's kind of like, remember with the color pencils when we were starting off really lightly and you could build up multiple layers on top? It's a little bit like that. Yeah, your fingers um, get really dirty, don't they? So if you just pick up some of the dust from that, when you draw hard, you'll get dust all around it. If you pick it up on your finger and then you just smudge it somewhere else, notice what happens it picks up some of the blue that's already on your finger. And so you're gonna create a darker green or like a greeny blue. Okay, and if you bring some of that up here to the blue and you mix it in, you're gonna be able to kind of create quite a soft blended um, mixture between the blue and the green. All right, I'm just gonna just clean my hands a little bit here. All right, so we're gonna use that technique a bit later um, to, in order to like blend the colors together. But I guess the thing that I want you to know is that um, you can blend it, but then you can work back in over the top, okay? So you can kind of have multiple layers going on. Um, all right, let's try something a little bit different. So what I want you to do now is get go back to your, actually let's, let's try a new color now, eh? Um, I'm going to do orange. So try and find a nice corner on whatever color you're going to use now. And I'm just going to actually zoom in a touch here. There we go. All right. Now what I want you to do is just using your corner like that, I want you to draw some different size circles. So start off kind of small. Just 
Just like that. And then if you've got a cotton bud, what I want you to do, this is a little bit tricky, but I want you to basically smudge inside the circle, but don't go outside the circle. Okay, so smudge around the edge and try and blend that pastel into the middle without sort of um, blending it outside. If you don't have any cotton buds, but you've got a tissue, you can do this by just folding up a tissue and getting, trying to get like a nice point like that. It's just a little bit harder to do. Yeah. But you can, cotton buds best because it's got that, um, it's you know, much more controllable. Okay, now on one of those circles, I just want you to smudge all over it with the cotton bud. Just like that. So you can see what happens is when you, when you don't contain the color within the shape, you're gonna get a really soft kind of um, glow around it. Um, it's still gonna retain some of that original circle, that dark circle, but um, you're gonna lose the shape of it. All right. Um, now yellow, if you did orange, or whatever color you did, choose a harmonious color, so I'm gonna do yellow. Try adding some yellow inside the middle, one of your circles like that. And then with all that dust, just blend that into the orange. And that's how you blend like two colors in quite a detailed way. You can do it um, like this way as well. You can start off with yellow. Try, in fact, try this. Start with yellow, and then do some orange, and then do some red around it like that, and then try and start from the middle and go round and round and just basically blend all those colors together. Might need a bit more yellow. Just kind of get used to blending those colors and seeing how that works.